these four dongles which you see are the dual CS4398 dongles and uh, I'll be mainly talking about them but uh, these two dongles you see on the side uh, are the uh, CS dongles but these are uh, CS43131 dongles uh, I'll also talk about them a bit too uh, so yeah so I'll just introduce them so this is a sim got uh, Duo 4x uh, this retails for around uh, $79 and uh, these are all the stock cables which it comes with by the way and uh, this is the Aful Snowy Knight uh, which retails for around $109 this is the Colorfly CDA M2 uh, which retails for $139 and uh, this is the Iron Yuki this retails for $169 uh, the case for the Iron Yuki is a separate purchase of $15 I have made a detailed review on each of all these dongles so you can watch them but here I'll just be very brief about them. Uh, so the Dew Forex. Dew Forex uh, is very small as you can see. Uh, it is also very light. Uh, so one advantage of the Dew Forex is uh, unlike all the other dongles uh, is that uh, even if it dangles it doesn't put much pressure on the USB-C port of the Dew Forex and uh, neither on your transport. So that is one of the big advantage of the Dew Forex. Uh, it has high and low gain mode and uh, it sounds good it is very uh, neutral but uh, with a bit of a warmth so the next is the aful snowy night uh, the aful snowy night is 109 dollars uh, it read uh, it is around 30 dollars more expensive than the sim got dew forex now what do you get for the 30 dollars more first the cable is really good uh, you uh, but you do not get any usb c to a adapter unlike the sim got uh, the cable is really good it's very sturdy uh, and the uh, aful is a bit bigger and heavier than the sim got dew forex uh, it sounds a bit more linear, a bit more clearer than the Dew Forex. The CDA M2 is probably the best uh, out over here uh, when you talk it in terms of feature uh, because uh, it has this OLED screen as you can see and uh, the cable also is really good. It's very soft and supple. Uh, uh, it has many features like for example uh, selecting left and right channels uh, and many others. Uh, I've uh, made a detailed review about it too. But the CDA M2 is a very linear sounding. It's probably the most linear sounding dongle deck over here. So now talking about the Ion Yuki. The Ion Yuki is the most prettiest dongle deck in my opinion over here. Uh, it has this, you know, uh, glass window. Uh, the entire body has this enamel finish, uh, which feels very nice when you touch it. Uh, it feels very premium too. Uh, and this uh, PCB which you see uh, is ceramic board. And uh, the cable is also, as you can see, white, white, and it is matched very well. Uh, so that is the Ion Yuki and uh, the sound of the Ion Yuki is uh, is uh, neutral but with a, a smidge of warmness and the sound stage of the Ion Yuki is the best among these. Which dongle deck among these four should you buy? Uh, well, if you prefer portability, if you want something small and if you do not have something very powerful, uh, then the Simgar Dew Forex is your option. Uh, why? Uh, because it is very small. Uh, it uh, it doesn't cause uh, it doesn't cause much uh, issue with the USB C port when it is dangling around, and, and it is also the cheapest among this, eighty dollars. Aful Snowy Night, in my opinion, uh, it's good if you want the cable. If you want a bit more linearity, then the Aful Snowy Night does make sense. But uh, in my opinion, uh, this is a bit of uh, not that much of a step up from Dew Forex. I mean, uh, if you want even more linear, yes, the Aful Snowy Night makes sense. But uh, if you are spending $110 and you want linear sound, then I will say that spend a bit more and get the Colorfly CDA M2 because uh, it sounds fantastic. It has this really linear sound uh, and uh, it has even more power than the Aful Snowy Night. Uh, it and also has all those features which I've spoken about in my review, in my full review. So yeah, that is if you want something linear. Now Ion Yuki. Ion Yuki is linear but with a tinge of warmness and has a great sound state. And it doesn't have any features. It just has a high and low gain mode. Uh, the volume buttons over here. Yeah, the volume buttons uh, on the back side. So that's it. And uh, it looks very good. So if you want a deck uh, which looks good uh, but, but you do not care about the features, you just wanted to plug and play, then the Ion Yuki makes very much sense. Uh, it uh, it uh, Although it uh, doesn't have the same power as the Colorfly CDA M2, but uh, for me it has uh, driven all the IEMs I have without any issues. Uh, so what would be my choice if I had to select between these? Uh, well, I could not select one. Uh, I would have to uh, select at least two. Uh, me portability wise it will be the sim got due forex because uh, portability this thing rocks i mean this is really awesome 
if I have to select only one in terms of quality and uh, just for the sound, just for the sound quality, nothing else, no features, just for the sound, then it will be the Ion U key for me. So depending on the budget, I will either go with the Ion U key or with the Semgot Duo 4 X. Uh, I know the Colorfly has more features, uh, but uh, I uh, although I care about the features which Colorfly has, uh, which I've talked in detail in my review, uh, I do think the simpleness which these two dongle offers at around $80 at around $170 are, are really good. Uh, so I highly suggest if you do get a chance, try them. Uh, they're really worth their price. Uh, now these two dongles which are waiting in the sidelines. I talk about them a bit and uh, yeah uh, so this is the Fio K11 I made a full review on this too and this is the Aklem PD4 Plus so this uses a single CS43131 DAC this uses a dual CS43131 DAC now what is the difference this is $29 MSRP but you can find it for uh, $24 to $25 and this is $60 $59 or $58 but you can find it for $50 to $55 do you prefer the portability then it's Fio K11 uh, but if you prefer uh, a bit more power and you want that 4.4, then uh, Aklem PD4 Plus it is. So yeah, uh, thanks for watching. Uh, thanks for stopping by. Uh, like and subscribe, you know, 94% of the people aren't watching. You know that they deal. Uh, so yeah, thanks for stopping by. Bye.